figuring out how to score such an expansive game with all its environments and dramatic situations on a limited budget and still be true to our original goal of keeping everything as live as possible. The solution to this problem came over time and the big turning point was when we were able to involve the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra in the project. Then I knew I could write big orchestral pieces for the scenes that needed them and know that they would be played by real live players. The composition process itself was pretty natural for me. A lot of it came from just looking at the beautiful art in the game and connecting it to my own experience. For example, I live near open space that overlooks a valley that reminds me of Bella's hillside. And we have in our neighborhood a real live wolf who makes these incredible calls at night. And those became the basis for Merrick's theme, the, the wolf in, in the spaceship. And Shay's spaceship itself reminds me a little bit of my studio. It's a small, intimate space. And so I used some of my favorite vintage gear to make some of the sound for it, as well as a small ensemble of uh, strings and winds. Then there's the fact that I'm a dad now. So scoring a game about coming of age has a special uh, meaning for me, both from the parents and from the young people's point of view. I love the fact that my daughter and son actually like playing my music from, from, from the game on our piano at home. So it's like the music coming full circle to have it played by the next generation. All these factors make the score special for me. And of course, it's wonderful to be doing an adventure game again. Uh, in an adventure game, the music is allowed to explore at length a wide range of emotion because the player is solving a puzzle while experiencing a small part of the story, kind of in slow motion. Uh, the story itself is really the most important thing. And scoring the game is an adventure as well because when you start, the story isn't written yet. And in fact, as I'm speaking to you here, the end of Broken Age, the end of the story, still isn't written yet. So it's kind of an exploration for me to, um, to score the game just as it is for the player to play it. And that's what I hope people are going to come away with. I hope that people who play Broken Age are going to have as much uh, of, of a fun time discovering the story as I did discovering the score.